In today's video we are going to be testing Fluval bug bites and we're also going to be doing a giveaway at the end right so stick around. Whoop. Okay there shrimplets, let's do this right. So I've been hunting for new foods for quite a while because the other types of food that you buy online from like Facebook etc can be mega mega expensive right. So I've been looking for alternatives and I've come across Fluval bug bites right and I'm actually quite impressed with the ingredients and stuff on this which we'll go over in a second. And the ones that I went for guys here were the ones that were meant for plecos because a lot of the pleco food is pretty good for shrimp right so that's what our feeding as far as for shrimp so um, I went to our website I'll leave a link in the description or first comment where you can go and check it out for yourself and buy it if you want to um, where we went over to and we looked at all different kinds of shrimp food and when I was looking at this I thought you, you know this is really really good value for money if it works right so this is the one I bought I actually bought quite a lot of packets of it because yeah these are Quite val good value for money and um, what is the weight 130 grams so that's a lot of food for the price and i thought when i was reading the ingredients on this the, the things that stuck out to me were uh things like um insect larvae right so it's not an awful lot of food will contain insect larvae in it i know this is called bug bites and that's the main reason why it's called bug bites is because it has insect larvae in it and I thought, you know, this has the potential to be a really, really, really good shrimp food because it has everything in it, guys, that I reckon that you need for shrimp to thrive, right? So let's go over the ingredients. I've actually written them down here on my little trusted notepad thing. And the main ingredient in this is black fly soldier larvae, right? And I actually went online and I went to look what this, to see what this looks like and it is basically like a grub about this size and they are used in all different types of things like waste management where they will eat um, organic waste down to basically nothing and they are roughly about 40% protein which is on the, the relatively high side but it is um, counteracted by the other ingredients in here to lower it down to about 30% which is ideal for our shrimp, right? So black soldier fly larvae, it doesn't say this on the packaging guys, but if you know anything about insects and stuff, the skeletal structure of uh, an insect is basically made from the same stuff that makes our shrimp's exoskeleton, right? So it is sheeting. You can go online, you can Google it, and you can see this for yourself, that it is the same stuff. And so that I thought in itself was a really, really, really good bonus for us to have as a shrimp food that it is so high in sheetine. Right, so you have high in sheetine, it's really high in protein, counteracted by the other ingredients as we said. And yeah, I thought, yeah, that makes an excellent food for our shrimp. And so what else is in it? So we have salmon, which adds other types of um, amino acids and oils in there. And then we have stuff like um, green peas, which is also, I would consider one of the best foods you could probably get for shrimp and uh, fish for helping their digestive system. It just helps everything move along nicely. I love peas, by the way, as well. So I don't think I'll eat this because of the black fly larvae, but so let's uh, put this into here. So this is your typical little pellets. Right, and bug bites come in different sizes for different types of fish and whatever else so you can probably choose what is best for your needs but guys I thought if at least if um, it is not great for a shrimp food then at least I can feed it to my bristlenose plecos so that is why I got this one let's have a little look at the food you can see it there it comes in its nice little form and for my tanks guys where I have a lot of shrimp piece this size is perfect you see will it focus on this yeah it kind of does a piece of this size is perfect but I'm hoping that it's relatively easy to break up into smaller pieces up oh, where it was mega easy let's try another bit mega easy let's try another bit now with this being a pleco based food as well it should sink and I'm quite pleased at how easy this is breaking up actually you see it? 
So that's what we'll do today. We're going to feed these shrimp. We're going to just feed these tanks here because I didn't want to make this video ultra long. And guys, as well, let's talk about a giveaway. Right, you're going to have a chance of winning one of these packages here, right? And I'm going to pick from your comments the winner. And guys, basically all you have to do to be in with the chance of winning a packet of this stuff here, Fluval Bug Bites, all you have to do is leave in the comments, just leave in the comments something like, I love bug bites, right? That's it. That's all you have to say is, I love bug bites. And I'll use some software called TubeBuddy to go back to this video later on, and it will be able to pick out the comments that said, I love bug bites. All right, shrimplets, so we are going to do this in real time with these three tanks here, because I think that's probably the best way for you to see our little feeding. And that is, uh, basically, we're going to add a piece to the, these three tanks here. And then you can decide for yourself if the food is any good or not. Right, so, I've never tested this food, fingers crossed, because I bought so much of it that it's actually decent. So let's give it a try, alright? Let's get our food here. Put it in, right, so, the, what are the conditions of us having um, a decent shrimp food? Well, the first thing is it must sink. <laughs> Uh, it does, hesitantly, but it does sink. Let's see. So there you go, there's the first one, it must sink. It does, that was probably just the first part there that I tried, it didn't really, didn't really want to sink. Yeah, it does sink quite easily. So uh, that, that previous part there, I had actually broken up, so it probably let air into it or, or something like that. Here you can see the food there, shrimp's on it already. Shrimp's on it already. And guys, when I'm doing this, I'm looking for reaction. How do the shrimp react to the food being put in the water? Because that is probably the most, one of the most important things, right, is how do they react once you put it in the water, right? So to give you a gist of how I did this, I actually fed the shrimp yesterday, right? So normally I wouldn't feed them again so soon, but it's, it is a good way for you to see if a food actually works, right? So these guys are all over the food already like this and like this and guys right, let's uh, take some macro footage as well so it's not just my word that you're taking here let's break out the macro camera because I want you to see the reaction of the shrimp all right let's have a little look you'll hear the ping is what they are these these I can tell these guys are they're stimulated by this food right just let me set up a camera Right, so this is like a boa tank here, boa galaxy fishbone tank here. You can see how frisky they are, you see them? So they obviously know something good is in that food. Look at them go. Let's go over here. Now this next tank, it has a lot of young in here. And they seem to be all over it as well. Yeah, so that is a very, very good first impression. You see the way the shrimp are running to it, how active they are. Let's see the crystals on this side. Yeah, I would say this is a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Sometimes you put food in and nothing happens. But yeah, considering I fed these shrimp yesterday, I think this is a really, really good reaction. Let's see the other tank here. Yeah, they went right to the back. Awesome. Okay, shrimplets, so yeah, leave a comment in the comment section below saying that you love uh, Fluval Bug Bites. A link will be in the first comment if you want to buy these. Guys, I would like to thank my patrons as well and my members for supporting the channel. Their names will scroll up here for a few seconds and uh, yeah, this food seems to be a winner. It's definitely, I'm definitely glad I bought so much of it because now, you never know with this stuff how how often, how long and how often it will last in a store, right? So yeah, get in there and buy this stuff. And guys, if you have enjoyed today's video and you want to see more, then please watch another. Guys, happy shrimp keeping.